What's up guys? So I thought I would go ahead and use today's episode to kind of talk about what to expect four months from now. If you're just stumbling across this channel for the first time, you have no idea who we are or what it is that we do. My name is Staria and my husband's name is Angel and we post daily vlogs. This channel started off as just my channel. I started it at the end, well I started daily vlogging at the end of July this past summer and Angel went ahead and joined the channel, I think it was in, no, December, December, like midway through December. And he originally had his own channel where he was also posting daily vlogs, but we decided to go ahead and merge channels and just post together because originally it was separate because we weren't actually living in the same state. Our jobs took us different ways. Um, but we are back living together again and we don't plan on doing long distance again. So we were like, let's go ahead and just be on the same channel. It just makes more sense rather than posting basically the same videos on different platforms. So you have both of us now. Um, but we have some exciting goals for the future. And before I get into that, I do want to express that Angel and I have really been struggling to find motivation to vlog because the life that we're living right now is probably like your typical lifestyle that you see most people live, but that is really hard for us to do. It's so hard for us to settle down and be somewhere for an entire lease. We usually break our lease all the time and move somewhere else. We're just always on the go and we're always trying to live our life in a different way so I guess a more abnormal way. We just, we never follow the norm, but right now we are 100% following the norm. You know, I have a full-time job. We are actually fulfilling our entire lease by staying here for the whole year. And it's very interesting. It's weird for us. We've never finished a lease ever before. We always end up moving and having some crazy idea of how we want to live our life. <sighs> This is the most stable that we've been ever and it's very weird so having said that we really are struggling a little bit with liking the videos that we're putting up every day in our head we just feel like they are really boring and we definitely have seen our views tank like a lot because the whole minimalism thing definitely gave us a boost and that was really cool it was never the intention we never thought that was gonna happen that was just it just kind of happened and we were like, cool. Um, we're still minimalist, but with daily vlogs, like you can't really talk about minimalism every single day, right? If we were like a channel that was like only posting once a week, maybe we would be put putting out more minimalism videos, but with daily vlogs, like we just, we don't talk about it every day, you know? So that quickly just kind of stopped. And so our views have tanked a lot and I mean, it's probably because we're not really doing anything interesting. The most interesting thing that we're doing is 100 trails in 100 days, which is, that's pretty cool. Um, but I also think it's just because I'm the one who edits the videos and it is really hard for me to like get into it when I just feel like we're not living like the life that we really want to. Like we're grateful where we are right now, but right now we're like really focusing on like building up a savings and getting out of debt. So we're working really hard and that's where a lot of our time is going instead of like doing fun things and like showing you guys like cool adventures and stuff. So that's why we kind of have been struggling to continue to post daily vlogs, but we are gonna keep doing it because we love doing it. And we know that in the long run, it will pay off and be something really awesome. Um, but right now we're just really working hard and you know, with that, there's not, too much to show you guys <laughs> but I thought I would give you guys a little peek into what to expect come June of this year so our biggest goal for this year like the two of us is to move into our van we do have a van and our plan when we bought it a couple years ago was to live out of it but our life has just never really allowed us to we've had different opportunities come up which have been awesome um, and just different well, we've had opportunities, but we've also had things kind of get in the way that just kind of delayed it. But we are crossing our fingers that nothing comes up that stops us from being able to move into our van in June. Our lease ends here at the end of May, which again, 
we'll actually finish our lease and in June we will be living in our van. My contract with my job ends like midway through June. So the second half of June and then like the beginning of July, we'll be exploring around Washington doing different hikes, like bigger, longer hikes and camping and hopefully backpacking um, before we head out. So mid-July, we will be heading down to Malibu and that's where we are going to be beach bums. <laughs> We chose Malibu because we have camped out there before with our van and we really love it. It's weirdly van friendly. Like you wouldn't think that Malibu would be van friendly because it's like a really nice area, but it actually is. And the place that we specifically camp out at, it's just such a vibe. It's right there on the beach. There's other van lifers and campers and RVs around us. And yeah, we're super excited. Our daily life is pretty much just going to be us working really hard on our clothing brand. If you guys are new here or you just didn't watch the episode where we talked about this, we have a recycled denim clothing line where we make custom jackets from scratch. Um, that's also something that we can't start until we get to LA because half of our team is in LA so we can't really do things in separate states. Um, but we'll be doing that and I'm going to be working on my little company business thing. Um, you know, we both have separate goals, but we also have goals together. And basically you're just gonna see us grinding and being beach bums and going on fun adventures. And yeah, we're, we are, as I said, we have a lot of financial goals right now. And one of our goals is to be completely debt free once we move to California so that we can hopefully start to build up our adventure gear so that we can start going on really cool adventures and documenting it for you guys. Um, so yeah, that's what you guys can expect from us in four months. We are so excited. <laughs> Having said that, I am really grateful for where we are right now. I'm grateful for my job. I'm grateful for this apartment that I've been able to be in. This literally was a little mini dream of mine to live in a studio loft apartment in Seattle. So I'm grateful to be here and I'm trying to enjoy every moment that I'm here because both Angel and I get really excited for our next chapters and we mentally just like are already in the next chapter, but I'm really trying to focus on just being grateful in the moment and where I am now because I have found in the past when I'm not grateful in the moment, once this chapter comes to an end, I get really sad because I didn't appreciate it while it was here. So I'm trying to just appreciate where I am now. I'm excited for van life and beach life, but I am grateful for where I am right now. <laughs> anyway, so if you guys don't know if you want to subscribe or not, that's kind of just to let you know like where things are headed. Um, we really do want to become that channel that is going on adventures all the time and we're trying new things. As you can see in our little like banner at the top on our homepage, it talks about no regrets and how we want to try th different things and explore new ideas. That's what we want to be known for and that's also why I've been struggling with these vlogs is because it's hard to do that when you're kind of on a grind and just focusing on money um, or not I guess focusing on money but focusing on you know, goals where you just have to spend most of your days working really hard and you can't really put too much time into adventure. Really our only little snippet of adventure are these trails that we go on, which we love. But we really are just like working really hard so that come this summer, we don't have to stress about finances as much because that for the past two and a half years, that has been our biggest stressor is finances. So we're really hoping that we can turn that around this year. Um, because that's always held us back from doing things that we really want to do. Um, so yeah, we just, we just don't want to have any regrets and we want to try new things. So if you're wondering what the heck we're doing here, that's what we're doing. We're just trying to live and have fun and hopefully inspire you guys to do the same. Um, but also showing you guys that it's definitely a process to get to a point in your life where you can just go out and have fun like all the time. Um, you know, like finances are a real thing and <laughs> being an adult is a real thing and having responsibilities is a real thing. Um, you know, 
I think that's totally possible to live whatever lifestyle you want to, but I think sometimes you just need to be patient. Maybe it's not the right time. I was telling Angel this year, well, at like the top of this year, I was like, I really, really think that this year is going to be a huge shift for us. And I really think that a lot of like the things that we struggled with before, I think are going to be maybe resolved or just be less this year. So I have a really good feeling about this year. Anyway, before I ramble on too much, I know that Angel and I talk so much, um, but it's just because we enjoy talking to you guys. <laughs> anyway, if you guys have any questions, ask them down below. Um, we are definitely people who just kind of like live day by day. We have goals, but like honestly, it's kind of hard for us to plan in advance because we will just change things up just like that. Who knows, maybe tomorrow we'll be moving and doing something completely different. We never know. But yeah, ask away, um, give any suggestions of things that you like to do in Malibu, Santa Monica area. We'll definitely note those, keep them in mind for when we do move. Um, or in Washington, if there's any hikes that you guys really want us to do before we leave, we would love to check that out. Um, I think that's about it. All right, guys, we will see you tomorrow.